Sagittarius, hey, I hope that you're doing amazing. Adrian, your psychic tarot reader, really, uh, general reading for 1 till 18 June. Something very interesting when it comes to your readings, I always somehow have the desire to sing something. And I remember um, um, earlier on today, I was making myself the most gorgeous toasted seeds, toasted cheese sandwich. You know when you're like biting them and go like, Kach, oh, you know, playing with the dog, with the laundry, and whatever. And the song kept on playing, and I said, whatever I'm doing a reading for next, I am going to sing the song for them. And then I said, oh, my goodness, it's such a terror again. So let me know in the comments, maybe it means something to you. It's a song by Celine Dion, A New Day Has Come. A new day has come. A new day has You know, let the rain come down and wash away my tears. Let it fill my soul and drown my fears. Let it shatter the walls for a new sun. A new day has come. A new day has come. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. Alright, anyway. All craziness aside, such a theorist, let's look at your reading. So I just drew all your cards. Um, recent past energy that has brought you towards where you're currently oh, I think there's still a piece of toasted cheese on my cheek. It was so yummy, it was so good. I had like four slices. Um, so you have got the Eight of Emotions, which is the Eight of Cups, the Page of Voices, which is the Page of Swords, and the Three of Voices, which is the Three of Swords. So for many of you, you sort of, um, yes, you stepped away from certain things, but you emotionally started to disassociate from certain things, certain people, certain energies, certain connections, could be a relationship. Relationship, but you started to, I feel it's almost like Sagittarius, like you had a set idea in your mind about, you know, where things are going to go, how things are going to be, um, so there was a plan, but it's almost like you somehow realized along the way that there is like a bigger plan available, that there's a different plan, there's a different direction. And I can see that you're heading that way, and it might have been very emotionally overwhelming for some of you. And I also feel that for some of you, this actually meant that, you know, you may have wanted to physically move or something like that. And so, or like a different sort of business, or, you know, something like that, or relationship. But then you realize that it was actually better to stay, that that was the healthier um, thing for you to do that was serving in your better interest, you know. Um, I can see that you got that idea because there was a, there's quite a bit of healing that needed to be done in wherever you are, whatever the sort of like the setup, you know, the equation there was, it was all, it's almost that realization. It's really, really powerful when we realize that it's better to stay where you are and to heal where you are as opposed to wanting to go somewhere else and then kind of carrying this pain forward with you. So very, very good on you over there. So where is it brought you in your current space? First of all, you have got the Muse of Emotions, which is the King of Cups. This is in your current space. Then we have got the chariot energy there which is cancer energy as well as the queen of emotions which is the queen of um the queen of cups so there's quite a lot of emotions that's happening here in your current space i feel that you are emotionally ready for that next step now so um to let you know there were necessary delays in the past but you are now ready for that next step you are ready to go to that next level you are ready to give and receive in equal measure in all sorts of ways that will make you happy you know love career home space friends um even money i feel very strongly for some of you um, it's it's almost like with money you you were just to give him, you know, or maybe um, keeping it to yourself too much. But I feel that for many of you, you were too giving and sort of um, causing imbalance there. Because the thing to remember is that when we just sort of you know hand our money out to whoever and wherever, and we're not mindful of where that money goes, what the energy it is that that money feeds, then we can go into a space where we are no longer a good host for money, we're not a good friend for money, and it sort of doesn't want to sit with us anymore, all right? Um, and I feel that some of you had those challenges, but I feel that you've got it nice and straight and narrow now, whereas, <coughs> sorry, before, you know, maybe your couple of friends, you all go out to like a um you know like a restaurant or something like that and you're like oh
Heading forward, where is this energy taking your Ace of Emotions, which is the Ace of Cups, um, Seven of Emotions, Seven of Cups, and the Muse of Materials, which is the King of Cups. So there's a lot. Sorry, the King of Pentacles. My apologies. So there's a lot of um, there's a lot of turnarounds that's coming about here for you. I feel that this is a uh, that that you actually at the end of a period where for a very long time you have been. Um, prepared for something really really amazing Sagittarius um, and you sort of like at the end of that line now so you're at the receiving end of things you know so it has been there for a while a lot of preparation that went in you kind of more in the alignment space at the moment and all of that is in preparation to, uh, to, uh, for a very very big emotional um, spiritual psychic next level breakthrough very very big very very beautiful um and and i feel that you're going forward and you're kind of seeing flaws let, let's call it flaws between inverted commas in your life that you haven't seen before and you know obviously it's important to remember even though i don't see you knocking yourself up about that um it's, it's important to remember that you know we can only perceive to the level that we basically woke so some of you are becoming very well going forward um, and you're seeing certain things and your relationship with money and life and opportunities and all those things are really, really beautifully improving, you know. So if you've been feeling stuck, for example, you're coming unstuck. Um, very, very nice. Where before you may have felt that you almost had to like, you know, sacrifice your arm to just get like something a little bit in life. You go into a space now where... Um, things are just flowing for you. It's like the tap of abundance has just been open. All right, let's write that down for you. Tap of abundance, and let's claim that while we're writing it down. Let's place our hands on our heart and let's claim it. The tap of abundance is wide open. It's flowing, and why not? All right, let me know what's happening in your life in the comments. I wanna know. I wanna know. I wanna know. No. 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 <laughs> I want to know. All right. Clarifying the recent past. We're clarifying the Eight of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Three of Swords. And for that recent past, there, yeah, there's been a break, break, breakthrough. Why am I tripping over my words? Big break. But you know what sometimes happens is that when you channel energy, it's because, you know, when you when I do a, a personal reading, I'm only focusing obviously on one person's energy. Whereas when you do something like this, you know, you tap into a lot of energy. Everybody that's going to watch the video now, everybody's going to watch the video from five years from now. And so sometimes there's just so much energy that's coming through. It's just like, blah, 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 blah. you know, it's like, it's like you can't get it out of your mouth fast enough. Um, and then you explain, <laughs> it backs up a little, but you can speak to energy. So... For that recent part, you've got the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Tower Energy. All right? So, Knight is a doing energy. It's a doing energy. It's the energy of taking action. I can see that your heart started to open, that you were willing to have a different experience of life. Maybe some of you realize that, well, you don't just want to be comfy anymore. You really want to be... You know, you want to like your life, you want to love your life, you want to really, you know, like, oh, so far lazy boy into your life type of thing. Um, and because of that, there are certain things that had to go, so there are certain breakthroughs that had to happen. Certain things that might seem like calamities, but it's, it's more sort of like the energy that you put forth. And in that way, you know, that is why one wants to be mindful of, of what you're putting forth into the universe. Because if you have this and you want that and you want to make that huge jump, then, you know, sometimes it can, it can get a little bit rough over there. All right. But I can see that you also got through it. A lot of you also got through your anger. I feel there was a lot of anger that was trapped inside of you. Literal anger issues that you'll be out in the world and you're all smiling and like, oh, no, I'm fine, I'm good. No, everything's fine. Oh, wonderful. Look how beautiful the sun is. But inside, some of you were raging, you know. And for some of you, you may not even have realized the anger that you were carrying around within you. But now, <laughs> so now that you're free of it, that you can really feel that relief and it's beautiful. All right. I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. Because that period, that dark night of the soul, oh, it sucks. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. But then you get into a period where you are now, where you begin to align and you go forward and then you gain the benefits from it. So it's, 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 it's hard, but it's worth it, you know. Um, in your current space, we're clarifying the King of Cups, the Chariot, and the, the Queen of Cups. Lots of Cups energy, lots of personal interactions with others, you know. 
and ready for that as well. So we got the Six of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel that for some of you, you know, you've kind of um, so there's 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 certain steps here. So a lot of you have realized the areas that you need to improve upon. You you felt the anger, you you felt the frustration. And now you sort of understand what are the things in life that you need to forgive yourself for. Or that might be something that you want to focus on because you've got the Six of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. So this is a space where now that you realize what those blockages are, and now that you realize what those things are that sort of block your flow, um, you know, I feel that for some of you, you're still in the process of forgiving that, of releasing it, of letting go. And here's the wonderful thing. The more you do, the more you unlock of that beautiful potential inside of you. And again, for those of you that are concerned about money and concerned about security and those types of things, you know, maybe feeling quite isolated. Um, there's a, there's a real, um, strength that is coming here for you, um, with, with money and the things that money can buy. Um, in the materialistic sense of the world, things are really, really, really balancing for you beautifully, all right? To the point where you can even take a bit of a break and to the point where you can even start contemplating what you're going to do, what you're going to do next and where you're going to go with your next level, all right? Um, clarifying the energy that's coming your way, perspectively coming your way, so Ace of Cups, Seven of Cups and the King of um, Pentacles. This King of Pentacles, King of Coins, Muse of, um, you know, Materials, this is you having a very healthy relationship with manifestation, with abundance, with law of attraction, drawing into your life easily and effortlessly. Oh! Sorry if I gave some of you all a fright. Damn. I'm going to show you all this. So, um, Page of Swords, the Emperor and the Pentacles, the Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, the Pentacles, um, is here for you in the energy going forward. So I see your mindset changing. I see your beliefs about your changing, the beliefs about your worth, about your value, and you're encouraged to stand in your power and to stand in your strength, you know. And even if others around you are not doing that well, just because they suffer, doesn't mean that you have to suffer, you know. In actual fact, when you do well, you might be able to help others. But there's a space going forward where life is almost calling you to that number one spot. You want to go there and even look at um look at what you're having at the bottom of the deck here the ten of pentacles that's why i got so excited because that is beautiful victory and it's wonderful and it's success and it's abundance and it's flow and it's prosperity you know it's beautiful life calling you to that number one spot claim that for yourself all right let's have a closing message from the universe for you not using this deck using this deck beautiful and it's wonderful because this one is a gift to me Carol Moon Garden. um Let's see what we have. If it resonates with you, I'd really welcome you liking the video, commenting, sharing, subscribing, hitting that notification bell. Helps my channel to grow. All right, card fell to the floor, very powerful message. It's a temperance card, followed by the hanged man, and then also the four of stars, which is the four of wands. All right, you're in the process of becoming, you're in the process of learning, you're in the process of merging. So don't be too hard on yourself. Wherever you are at the moment, no matter what it looks like, no matter how it feels like, it's 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 part of the journey. It's a pit stop. It's not a final destination. Okay, hand over to faith. Hand over to that higher power. For those of you interested in love, marriage, high level commitment, that is busy happening for you as well. You know, or maybe having some trouble in the relationship area. Whatever it is, the desires of your heart for love has been seen by the universe and recognized by the universe, and the perfect person is coming your way. All right. Wonderful stuff. So that's what I got for you, Sagittarius. I hope that it helps. Um, if any of you want to have a personal reading, I got to let you know. I'm only going to do that for about three weeks though. The details for how to book it is down below in the description. You want to book it soon as opposed to later because my schedule is really, really full. Um, for those of you that might be interested in learning to read the tarot, there's a link to my step-by-step -step tarot reading course down below in the description as well as to my free Oracle card reading course. Till next time, namaste. Bye.